so this is dynamics 365 for finance and operations environment and i'm using usmf legal entity and currently working on 10.10.0.29 a version so first of all i'm going to create a new item for this i'm going into product information management and click on release products here i'm going to create a new item and i select is invo 3 8 18 20 20 theory i'm using this this is also as its name and from item model group i select first in first out and item group uh, and from item group i select the audio storage dimension i select site and warehouse and tracking dimension i select known and for pricing i select the purchase price is 100 sales price is 200 and inventory price is 120 and click on ok so if i go in inventory section so here is the if i go on uh, manage cost so if i go on a uh, manage cost here is the item group and i select the audio if i click on this you can see here are all accounts that need to be hit so in the case of inventory adjustment it will pick the account from so it will account uh, it will pick the account from here so for this transaction i am picking copy this account that i used to adjust in inventory movement so first of all i am going to create a, a, a inventory adjustment so first of all i am going to create a transaction with inventory adjustment before that i am ensure that what uh, before that i check the what is inventory on hand so that option is available So first of all before going to create an inventory adjustment i am checking what is on hand inventory which should which which it should be zero so you can see there is no inventory transaction here now i'm going to create an inventory adjustment transaction for this i am going into inventory management then journal entries items and create an inventory adjustment so i click on new and identification i select i j and storage location i select for if i select here so if i select here site and warehouse all transactions all lines will be picked against this site and warehouse we can modify it but it can be picked from header level so i click on ok so here i am creating i am going to create a new line and i select invo underscore and i created this item i n v i n v underscore three one eight twenty twenty so I select that item you can see the default site one and warehouse come from the header of this journal and 120 cost is coming from the item I set this price on I set this price on item creation level so I am uh, 
creating its duplicate and from here I click on validate so I'm going to up purchase I, I'm going to transfer positive quantity of five items and you can see the cost become a 600 and cost price is 120 that 120 comes from uh, from the setup the cost price comes from what i said so price this you can see 120 cost price is coming i set this value where on during the creation of an item so i am going to validate this okay general is fine and i'm going to post it so inventory is posted now i'm going to again on item So now if we, I go to check the uh, on hand inventory, I click on this and here you can see site on site we have five quantity and uh, five is available and is this and if I click on dimension and I want to check on a warehouse, so warehouse option is also coming and so if i so if i click on transactions So here you can see the accounting inventory and uh, inventory adjustment is this and account inventory expenditure. So here you can see the account posted is inventory received and inventory uh, expenditure profit is offset in, in offset account. And if we go more detail. So you can see the positive account will be adjusted here and physical cost count is physical 600 and now I'm going to create the same transaction in inventory adjustment. So now I'm going to create a same account. So now I'm going to create a same transaction. Now I'm going to create the same. Now I'm going to create the same entry in inventory movement. For this I click here and click on inventory management and inventory journals and moment so if i click on new and there is you can see the identification is i m o v this is the journal name i select the one and warehouse again 11 and i click on ok when i click new you can see the I search the item I and V
and site and uh, site and warehouse comes from a header and you can see the cost price is coming 120 and here is the option of offset account so i save this account i'm going to either from this selection or i copied it here profit and loss account i click on validate then click on post so inventory is posted now i'm going to see what is the situation on item So now I'm on item and I see what is the on hand inventory. So you can see there is now I'm going to create an inventory movement. So now you can see that I create the one entry and if I click on the costing you can see six item is received and if I click on transactions it shows us the two transactions happening one is inventory adjustment and second is adjustment that is that is second so now so now if I now I'm on item level and if I click on transactions I see there are two transactions one is against inventory adjustment that I created in a previous entry and then it, it is a transaction it recorded movement as a transactions you can see a one quantity I selected and here is a five quantity I selected and inventory adjustment cost will be the same and now I click on transaction detail so here he mentioned that one quantity is select and these accounts will be hit and you remember that i select that account manually now i'm recording the negative adjustment entry to consume this quantity and posted it as uh, in accounts so for this i'm going first i'm going to create inventory adjustment again inventory management and inventory adjustment and i click on new inventory adjustment i select one and 11 i click on ok and click on new and again here i select the INV and I select the five quantity. The five quantity I select as a negative, so this quantity will be consumed. And you can see the negative he did not let me modify this this amount. But if I select the five it gives me option to modify 150 but I don't want to change the cost price so I click on inventory and select the INV I but I don't want this so I select this uh, item and I pick the minus 5 quantity
and if I select it minus 5 because I want to consume it it did not let me modify the price so I'm going to slave it and validate it and post it so this transaction is also recorded negative so inventory will be adjusted that uh, inventory is wasted or consumed or whatever it is now I am doing the same transaction in inventory movement journal where I am going to uh, post the inventory for one item which I added in a last step so I am going to create an add new and here I add minus one right and offset account I post the same account which I copied in a previous step so in this way it is possible that in movement journal we can post transaction into another account but most of the time we post these transaction into profit loss account to consume that this inventory is adjusted when I click save and validate and post it inventory is consumed so if I go on again on item for if we go on item we go on item and click on this item and on hand transaction there is no so click on on hand inventory to check what is on hand inventory but there is no inventory there because whatever we adjusted because we have first added this quantity and then we minus the same quantity but if we click on our transactions we can see all the transactions you can see the inventory adjustment and the uh, inventory movement it received as a purchase and you can see the five and one is quantity and when we consume that quantity with a negative it mentioned the inventory adjustment sold minus five and with uh, the transaction with inventory movement is marked as a transaction and it will be minus one and if you want to see in more detail you can see that these are the posting accounts which are used in this transaction and in the moment journal we have option to select the offset account hope you like this video and in this way you can use and consume or adjust inventory in dcc5 for finance and operation microsoft provided two options for option is uh, microsoft provided two options first option is inventory adjustment and second option is inventory movement in inventory movement we have option to select the offset account and we have option there to pose inventory adjustment in our desired or required account thank you for watching see you in another video